Hi, John here with LPM. Upon receiving a new Apple iPhone 4S, I recorded an unboxing and device setup video to document my initial experiences and impressions of the device. If your YouTube player supports embedded links, you can see that video by clicking right here. In the days following that recording, as I was starting to explore the various features of the iPhone 4S and the new iOS 5 operating system that runs it, I began to notice a number of operating quirks and glitches, as well as some notably missing features from the new iPhone. And I spent several days trying to play around with the settings, resetting the device, deleting and then reloading select apps, and even several attempts to restore the device back to factory settings, all in efforts to achieve proper functionality. Some of those problems included repetitive self-rebooting, volume buttons not functioning, overwhelming static during phone calls, despite having a very solid cellular connection, and core audio-based operations such as the music player, alert tones, keyboard clicks, and so on, failing to recognize the internal speaker as a viable audio output path. And the list goes on. Nothing I did on my own was able to fix my device, so I ended up having to take it back to Apple and swap it out for a new iPhone 4S. Although numerous similar incidents have been cropping up in Apple's support forums, sometimes with Apple quickly acknowledging the defect and freely replacing the unit, my exchange was a bit more problematic. Through some of my own possibly ambitious efforts, I ended up having to pay a replacement fee to Apple in order to receive a properly functioning iPhone 4S. But that's another story. What's important here is what can be learned through such an adventure. Namely, what are some of the things you can do to get the most out of your iPhone 4S? Or learn how to diagnose or overcome operational quirks and where you can go online to seek assistance and insights when your iPhone 4S is just not working properly. For our first stop, let's head over to the mothership itself at Apple's own website. Go online to apple.com support to take a look at some of the support options Apple provides. You've probably already found that many of Apple's products, including their mobile devices, ship a little light in the area of included product information, such as a comprehensive user manual. Some folks think this is awfully presumptuous of Apple, and it very well may be, but that's not to suggest that these manuals don't exist. Go online to support.apple.com manuals to find downloadable user manuals for a wide range of Apple products, including the iPhone 4S. Apple also provides online video tutorials to help you become more familiar with many of their products. Head on over to support.apple.com videos to take a look at their growing library of tutorial video content. A favorite go-to site for many Apple users is Apple's own support communities at discussions.apple.com. Consisting of categorized online conversations between Apple users, this site acts as a crowdsourcing mechanism that allows users to ask and answer questions on virtually any Apple-related topic, in many cases focusing on how to use Apple software or devices and how to diagnose or fix a tech-related problem. Also on Apple's support site are links that help you access other support options, including directly contacting Apple support to address your specific needs. This support may come from the Apple Care phone support, an Apple authorized service provider, or even paying a visit to the Genius Bar of an Apple retail store if you happen to have one near you. Apple also makes it super easy to set up an appointment with their Genius Bar through their Apple Store iOS app. Just select your local store from the store menu, tap on the Genius Bar option, determine the topic that best describes your needs, and choose your appointment preference from available time slots. Branching out beyond Apple's own in-house support options, you'll find that the internet has no shortage of information about any Apple-related topic you can think of. A very popular site to visit is MacRumors.com. While primarily devoted to sussing out rumors about anything Apple-related, the folks at MacRumors try to stay on top of all the latest breaking info on critical mass product issues affecting new or updated Apple product line. Do you think of yourself as an Apple Power user? or do you have a question for power users? Ask different by heading on over to the Stack Exchange at apple.stackexchange.com. This is a collaboratively edited Q&A site for power users of Apple hardware and software, and it's completely free to use. And speaking of free, the folks at Macworld Magazine 
recently released their new iPhone 4S Starter Guide, the latest in their Macworld Super Guide series. Available for download in the iBook Store for reading on your iOS device, this Starter Guide explores the features of the iPhone 4S, offers tips on how to use the device, and even includes sections on notable apps and accessories that new iPhone owners may want to consider. This starter guide may be one of the best ways to familiarize yourself with what your new iPhone 4S has to offer. And if you'd prefer to read it on a Kindle or other e-reader, there are download options for that too. Check out this URL to learn more. And then of course, there's always folks like myself right here on YouTube. Blatant self-promotion aside, type almost any question on any topic into YouTube search, and you'll likely come up with a list of videos you'll want to check out on the subject. I've got a number of videos in the works exploring the iPhone 4S and iOS 5. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel to help ensure that you get notified when those videos get posted. Until then, if you're an owner of a new iPhone 4S, hopefully your experiences with the device have been completely worry-free. And if they're not, at least you now know where to go to get some insights, tips, or help. I'm John with LPM. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon.